Hello, my darlings. It's me, Cruella, and I'm here to read a story to you called Four Puppies. Can you imagine that? But fear not, I am a reformed woman. I love animals so, so much. But first I want to say hello to Dylan, Levi, Avery, Emmett, Kia, Emberly, Leo, Angelica, and Mercedes. Hello, my darlings. I hope you're doing so well today. There were once four new puppies who lived in a warm, dark corner by the stove. Those puppies had never been outdoors because they were too little. They didn't know about sky or tree or grass. They didn't even know about summer or fall or winter or spring or Cruella until... Look at how cute those little darlings are. They were old enough to go out the door to the sunny porch outside. At first, the stairs were too big for the little puppies to go down. Then one day, the stairs didn't look so big anymore. They are smaller, said one puppy. No, we are bigger, said the brothers. And then those four little puppies went flop, hop, and tumble down the stairs and into the great big world outside. They sniffed the fresh green smell of the grass. They raced on the grass and they rolled on the grass and they turned somersaults in the grass all afternoon. Oh my, what a fine place this is, said the four little puppies. Look at them having the best time of their lives, oh my goodness. Every day the four puppies went out to play. They pounced at caterpillars. They chased butterflies. They ran round and round after their shadows. They had so much fun that they hated to go inside, even when there was nice hot chicken broth for supper. Then one morning the stairs looked even smaller. And we're even bigger, said the puppies, and they walked down those stairs, plop, 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 as easy as pie. But the four little puppies were so busy playing that they didn't see that the big world was changing too until... It had changed so much that they couldn't play the same games anymore. A funny little wind tickled their ears. They didn't have shadows because the sun was behind a cloud. The grass felt cold, the butterflies had gone, the caterpillars were hiding. And the leaves began to turn yellow and red. Oh dear, said the puzzled puppies. <laughs> the next day, whoosh, the wind knocked all the petals off of a rose. And swoosh, it blew the leaves right off of the trees. Those four little puppies tried to put the petals back on the rose. They tried to put the leaves back on the trees, but they couldn't, so they started to cry. Dear. You silly billies, there's nothing to cry about, said a friendly red squirrel in the hickory tree. When the leaves turn red and yellow and come off the trees, it means that summer's over and fall has come. Why, you'll just have more fun than ever. And the squirrel was right. Leaves as crisp as cornflakes covered the ground. The four little puppies scuffed around in leaves and buried themselves in the leaves and kicked leaves up in the air. They had so much fun that they hated to go inside, even when there were lamb chops for supper. Then one morning when the puppies went out to play, they didn't have to walk plop, plop down the stairs. They could jump down the steps two at a time. They are even smaller, said one puppy. No, we are even bigger, said his brothers. But they didn't see that the big world was changing too until... It had changed so much that they couldn't play the same games anymore. The water in the puddles was as hot as glass. A rough wind blew their ears back and blew the leaves clear out of the yard. My dear goodness, that is just... Oh dear, cried the puzzled little puppies. They tried to hold on to the leaves, but still they blew away faster and faster. So the puppies started to cry. You silly billies, there's nothing to cry about, said the friendly red squirrel in the hickory tree. When there's ice on the puddles and the north wind blows, it means that fall is over and winter has come. You'll just have more fun than ever. And the squirrel was right. For the next day, when the puppies went out to play, everything was white with snow. Every day after that, those four little puppies bought a snow with their noses and slid down the bank and made footprints in the snow. They had so much fun that they hated to go inside, even when there were great big beef bones for supper. 
One morning, the puppets were so big they could jump down the stairs three at a time. But they didn't notice that the big world was changing too until... I'm not a snow person. I'm sorry, I'm just not. It had changed so much that they couldn't play the same games anymore. The sunshine was warm or it wasn't raining, but the water kept drip dripping from the trees. The snowbank was too small to slide down. And the next day, there were bare brown patches of ground with no snow at all. Oh dear, cried the puzzled little puppies. They tried to push the snow into a pile so they could keep it to play with, but the snow turned to water and sank into the ground right under their paws. So the puppies started to cry. You silly billies, there's nothing to cry about, said the friendly red squirrel in the hickory tree. When the sun gets warmer and the melts the snow, it means that winter is over and spring has come. And you'll soon guess for yourselves what comes after spring. It's like a wheel turning round and round. And the squirrel was right. Some tiny green stalks poked up out of the ground. The puppies and the stalks grew bigger every day. And one day the puppies jumped down all the steps at once and found leaves and flowers on every stalk. That's how the big world looked when we first saw it. They cried and they began to bark happily, for they had guessed what comes after spring. Summer is what comes after spring, cried the first puppy. Butterflies again. Then fall, said the second puppy. Crisp leaves again. Then winter, said the third puppy. Nice white snow again. Then spring, said the fourth puppy. Brand new leaves again. And everything starts all over again every spring. All the puppies cried together. The friendly red squirrel looked down at them from the hickory tree. Now that you know all that, you are not puzzled to know puppies anymore, he said. What are we then, asked the puppies. You are big, brave dogs, he said. And the squirrel was right as usual. What a brave and smart little squirrel. Look at those beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful grown doggies. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, my darlings, that is the end of the story, and I hope that you enjoyed it. It's a classic, of course, just like me. I will see you later.